there are a lot of fun parts to this little trick speaking challenge, so let's take a look at how we sort of go about setting it up. So in the interface designer, if I just pop that up now, it always goes onto my other screen, I'm sorry. Um, then we've got sort of um, the pressure, the volume, uh, the moles and the temperature. So these are all tick boxes with little numeric up and downs inside of them. Um, so let's have a look at what tools we need there for. So first of all, we've got a checkbox for each of these. So we've got four of those and we've got the numeric up and down for each of them. So let's go and have a look at the pressure ones. I won't go through how to set up all of them because they're all much the same. So let's start with the checkbox. We literally just have to have pressure um, as our title for it. And we want to collapse the group when it's deselected. So that's what you saw just then with the popping out of the different um, numeric up down boxes as we kind of select or deselect the boxes. And then configuring the numeric up and down isn't that difficult at all. Uh, again, just need to um, enter the text to be displayed. So in this case, it's the units associated. Um, and then we need to make sure we have three decimal places down here at the bottom, just because that was specified specifically in the challenge. So these are connected to uh, text input boxes. So I've just put a placeholder here of one um, and we're updating the value in row one and column one. And we're just calling this P here so that we can use it later in our calculations. And we have attached to our checkbox um, an action tool which is connected to the detour, which if you haven't seen, it's in the developer toolpad, toolpad, um, toolbar. That's probably what I meant to say. Um, it's here, detour and detour end. So we add in a detour, ticking the box makes it go to the right. So basically if it's selected, keep the value that we have coming through. If it's not selected, it'll stay left. And we just use a multi-field formula tool to mean that we change our output type to be a Boolean and we just make it be false. It's just for writing the calculation later on. This is the way that I chose to do it. So that's how each of the four variables are set up. Now, how do we get that error that is the bonus for this challenge? So in our interface tools, you got the error message, which I've never actually used before. So it was a learning experience for me too. So what we're doing here, if I just zoom in for you for our expression, is we're saying that either this number one that comes in, which is coming from our checkbox here, um, so that's either going to be true or false. True if it's ticked, false if it's not. So if it's true, then assign it a value of one or assign it a value of zero. I tried lots of different ways to get this to uh, be a one or a zero. I thought that it would just by default be that if I used um, binary to integer, for example, um, or I don't know why I thought that would actually work thinking back or just turning this value into a number and checking it then and adding it to, and nothing was working basically. So um, this is the best way that I found to do it. So if all of these are checked, well, if all of these, when we add them together, these checkboxes don't equal three, which is the number of variables we need, then we're just going to return the expression of, you know, we need three variables exactly. And I promise you that that does work. So nice and fun there. So then we basically want to append all of these together so that we're sort of building up. Now we've got P and V next to each other. Now we've got PVN and PVT. Um, so at the moment, these are all sort of detouring to the left. So they're going through the multi-field tool and becoming false, but that's okay. We don't really need them to write up the formulas. So um, we just input our constant there of R that is given to us in the challenge. Make sure it's selected to be a double or the formulas won't work going forwards. So we're basically saying um, if it's not P, therefore P is false. Therefore it hasn't gone, you know, it hasn't been chosen. It hasn't had a value assigned to it. Then we're going to use this formula, which is just rearranging the formula uh, that we were given in the challenge. And it's just a bit of, you know, basic maths of rearranging your formulas to get the right answer. Um, and then otherwise we're just going to check if it's actually V that's the false value, if it's N that's the false value, if it's T that's the false value. Um, and that just changes how the formula looks. And then we use the same sort of structure for our unit. So, you know, if P is false, so if P is the value that we've just calculated, then the units are ATM da, 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 for all of them nothing too complicated in this part of the challenge really and then we're just selecting out to have just the answer and the unit and 
writing it to a YXDB. So let's just try it. Um, let's say that we select just one of our fields, we hit finish, we get the error message. We select four of our values here and we get the error message. We take away the temperature and we hit finish and we open up this YXDB, it opens on the other screen, but you get the same answer that was given as the example. So this is all working nicely now. So hopefully that was a good walkthrough for you and thank you for watching.